Hi, I'm Paolo Pialorsi, and in this video we are going to see how we can do manual provisioning of site templates in SharePoint Online using PMP PowerShell. In fact, there are plenty of site templates available for testing and learning purposes that you can find on a GitHub repository as open source packages. You can easily download them from GitHub and using PMP PowerShell you can do the actual provisioning on your target environment. In this demo, we are going to see how to set up an environment and how to do the manual deployment of those templates. First of all, in order to use PMP PowerShell, you need to have PowerShell installed and available in your environment. To do so, you can use the installing PowerShell on Windows official document. And if you are on a Windows machine, you can click on the MSI package option and you can download the MSI file so that you can start the setup of PowerShell on your machine. It will take a while. You will have to go through the setup process and little by little you will have PowerShell completely installed on your machine. I will fade out and fade in to save some time. It is now fully uh, installed on your machine. You can eventually launch it already or you can click on the finish button. Now that you have PowerShell on your environment, you need to set up the PMP PowerShell command let. So if you go under pmp.github.io slash PowerShell, here in the installation steps, you can find detailed instru instruction about how to uh, set up PMP PowerShell. So let me copy this uh, statement and let me use it in uh, PowerShell. So let me start PowerShell 7 on this machine and let me run the install module PMP PowerShell for the current user. Again, it takes uh, a little bit, uh, and when it will be ready, we can then uh, rely on PMP PowerShell. Of course, I will have uh, to allow all of the dependent uh, packages to be installed on my machine, uh, and in a matter of few seconds, uh, PMP PowerShell will be ready to go. And here we are. So now we are ready to use it uh, to do the provisioning uh, of site templates. Now, if we want to take inspiration from already existing templates, we can have a look at the Lookbook site, so lookbook.microsoft.com, which is a website where you can find a bunch of ready-to-be-used templates uh, organized by category, as you can see here, organization, department, team, and you have plenty of options to set up the site templates and to learn and take inspiration from them. It might be that in the future this site will not be available anymore, but right now it is available and eventually you can still download all of the templates from GitHub as I will show you shortly. In this lookbook site, for example, we have the landing template, which is a really nice one that you can have a look at. But we also have the Microsoft 365 Learning Pathways, which is a really powerful template to help and improve the adoption of Microsoft 365 in your company. And this is the one that I want to set up in my target environment. So whether you use the lookbook site and you click on the add to your tenant button, or if you want to do it manually, which is the focus of our demo today, you can rely on the template. And if you want to do the setup manually, the deployment manually, you can go on GitHub under the github.com slash SharePoint slash SP dash dev dash provisioning dash template. And here in this repository, you will find two different folders, the tenant one and the site one. In the site folder, you can find all of the templates that you can use simply having a site collection administrator account. While in the tenant folder, you will find all of the templates that require a tenant administrator to be deployed. The system folder is just for system purposes for the lookbook site. So if you click on the tenant folder, here you can see we have a bunch of options, including the O365 Learning, which is precisely the container of the template for the Microsoft 365 Learning Pathways template, as you can see right here. You have a brief description together with links to the detailed instructions about how to use learning pathways. And here I want to just have a look at the template, download it and use it in my target environment. So the template is a .pmp file. You can open it and you can directly download the .pmp file on your local environment. The file will go under the uh, downloads folder of your user so that you can then use it in PMP PowerShell. So let's do that. Let me switch 
back to PowerShell. And from here, we can start playing with PMP PowerShell. We want to target a destination environment. So I have here a tenant, which I have created for the sake of having a demo environment. And in this tenant, I'm going to deploy and provision the Microsoft 365 Learning Pathway site using PowerShell. So first of all, I will create a site, which will be the target of my provisioning. And for the learning pathways, we need to choose a communication site. Depending on the uh, flavor of template that you want to provision, you might have to choose team site or communication site. As I said, for learning pathways, communication site is the right choice. So let me pick this one. I will use the standard template because I'm going to override it with the actual template that I'm going to provision. So I'm going to use it. I will provide a name to this template, which can be, for example, M365 Learning Pathways or whatever name you like. And then I can click on the next button. It will be in English and I can create my site. It will take a few seconds and the site will be provisioned and ready to go. And here we are. So now back to PowerShell, we can connect to this site. First of all, let me copy the URL of the site. And let me use the command let connect PMP online to connect to my target site. I will provide the URL of the site and I'm saying that I want to use the interactive connection mode. So I will use the interactive UI to authenticate against this site and the target tenant. By doing that, I will be prompt with the login interface of Microsoft 365. I will have to provide the credentials of a tenant admin user because as I said, we are going to provision a template which will require tenant admin rights. I'm going to provide my password and I will also have in this scenario to use the multi-factor authentication. So now I'm going to provide this unique number to my authenticator app and I will be authenticated. Now, as you can see, we have a prompt from Azure and TriD to grant a set of permissions to the PMP management shell so that with this permission, my application will be able to uh, apply to provision the uh, provisioning template. I will consent on behalf of my organization just in case and I click on accept. Now that I've done that, I'm almost done and I will be able to uh, do the actual provisioning of my site template. So I can use the invoke PMP tenant template uh, command letter. I will provide the path of the template that I want to use, which is in the lowest folder, and it is called m365lp.pmp. And I will provide a set of parameters to this template, which will allow me to define what the relative URL of the site is, and that I want to use to do the actual provisioning. So I will provide a, an array of uh, properties of custom settings. And the one that I need to provide for the learning pathway site is the site URL. And the value that I'm going to provide to this property is the relative URL of the site that I just created. So slash sites slash M365 learning pathways. So once I'm done with the syntax of this command, I can simply run it. It will take uh, few minutes, something like four or five minutes to do the actual provisioning. And then the template will be ready and fully applied to the target site. The template is now completely provisioned on the target site. So we simply need to go back to the site, refresh the page, and we can see that now we have the learning pathways in place with the new template overriding the already existing one. Here you can find a set of useful links to get access to the templates on GitHub as well as to learn how to use PMP PowerShell for provisioning templates. Thanks for watching this video and have fun with site templates.